back here. Okay. Good morning, we're back. Not 100% yet, but certainly a lot better than Team America Sundays. That was quite an evening and quite a drive. Look, we learned a lot about the whole thing. I think one of the key things, probably, it's a big ask, is a three day trip. Anyway, look, we'll do a review, a run through of the whole thing later on as the week goes on. Now this week, there will be none of this, none of that, probably a little bit of this, and a good bit of that. But firstly, we have a site meeting. Coming with us today, are those guys. Do you agree that would be the moment that you realise you've made it as a yuppie when you go to your cafe and ask for your regular and it's a cashew nut flat white? What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, that's right. So, the other big... Meow. Yeah. The other big thing today, I have a sample of our road jersey turning up. Not the full race cut fit, it's a different material. It's probably something that you'll all be... Oh, this is going to be tears. We have a fork, we have a wooden fork. A uh, road jersey, so it'd be probably something that you'd be slightly more familiar with. Lighter, different material, so car up guys. We'll get this piece to camera down at some point. So it'll act as the other option for us, um, both for the team and when we get the, the line available to the public as well. One of the main purposes of Tour Down Under, we'll have these jerseys down there. Obviously it's a lighter jersey, so you know, for a more year, year all day riding kind of thing. Pretty nervous about this turning up because I've worked really hard on getting this particular jersey right. But before that turns up, we're gonna go look at some doors that don't have glass in them. Cubby house. Okay. I'll sort you out. Place is looking good, but still no glass. Which really is fatal you know, for any hopes of moving in. Be under no illusion, the Earth's axis just shifted. In yogurt. Like I said before, totally different thing this. This is probably the type of jersey you're a little bit more familiar with. Oh, lads. Okay. Get in here, have a look. Like I said, you're going to be far more familiar with this. So you can see the kind of waffled shoulders. You got the waffled side for the uh, aeration through there. I'm quite excited about. If you have a look at the fabric that I chose up here on the um, on the back, it's actually something totally different. It's a different weave. The question with this breathable stuff, right, was always. How does the grey print on it? It can easily just turn into like a muddy white, right? But that, for me, that pops. That really pops. I'm gonna put this on. I don't have a bike. So stand around and see what happens. It sounds weird, anyway. Like. Right, totally different under here. We're a real breathable factory. It's a much lighter feeling. Almost sort of scaly in a sense, but feels really nice on the skin. Two little test things that I really wanted to try here. I think one worked, and I don't think the other one did. So the first one I tried was on the butt. Have a look here. On the butt, we've got a little, this little ribbon, just here, just to keep it from sliding up, because obviously when you're down, all the rest of it. I really like that kind of technical feel. On the last sample, I actually had that at the front. I tried one with the whole way around as well. I think just the back is the best sort of way. The other thing I tried was one of the little, I suppose you call them lapels almost, in here. Again, I've tried one down the bottom at the top. I think I'm just going to ditch both of them. When it sits in there nicely, it, it does work quite well, but I think it's just it's just a bit of over-engineering um, at the end of the day. I think just the ability to go bang, rip down is much easier than having a little kind of protector in there personally. Let me know your thoughts, obviously, on all this sort of stuff. This is the first time that I've seen the design, the hexagon, everything in this jersey, and I think it's come off really well. So I'm delighted with that, absolutely delighted with that. Just to let you all know then the timing, I have the team samples arriving next week. We'll hopefully be riding them at Tour Down Under. It's gonna be touch and go. And once we've done that, then first customer run comes out. 
really happy with that. To point out, we're not bad parents. It's just every now and again, she's a pain. And you gotta do this. It's the reality. Anyone who carries on about screen time, they're either lying to you or they have hired help. That's it. Quick brew, get some pictures edited up and sent back to the factory because what happens here is I then send the pictures of my thoughts back to the guys over there, allows them to get the feedback, specifically the collar really. This afternoon, you are all invited to an adventure called Ready Steady Kids. Organised sport for three-year-olds. Questionable.